Hello everyone, I'm the French Monk and we are back with another update video on Sword and Musket, the upcoming Napoleonic Wars mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Now the Sword and Musket team is very passionate about their mod and they have as such been working relentlessly. This is also why in contrast to the previous two update videos I made, which were rather short, I'll be discussing a few more items in depth and hence this video will be a little bit longer. Before I start this video, if you're interested in regular Napoleonic Wars content, I invite you to click that subscribe button down below, especially if you want to stay updated on the latest news when it comes to this Napoleonic Wars mod. I'm someone who likes to cover Mountain Blade and in particular the Napoleonic Wars, but that doesn't mean that I don't upload gameplay of other historical related games. But yeah, that having said, let's get on with the video. So yesterday the modding team released their first exclusive trailer on Resonant his channel. This trailer was made with footage that they recorded from one of their tests with the second Coldstream Guards, which soon there'll be another developer vlog about, and thus another update video. As this is a mod in development, obviously a lot of what is shown and not shown is still work in progress, so do keep that in mind, but in my opinion it's starting to look pretty good. When it comes to uniforms, they've already shown us some unofficial examples, several which I posted in the previous update video. Hypercharge, who is the project manager of Sword and Musket, told me they currently have two uniforms finished. The uniform of the 2nd Regiment of Foot, the Coldstream Guards, being the oldest regiment in the British Army in continuous active service. They were active in the Napoleonic Wars during the Egypt campaign, they were active in Portugal, and they also took part in the unfortunate Walcheren expedition where they tried to invade Zeeland in 1809. And they were also there at Waterloo. The second uniform is the one of the French Wanyard Grenadiers. Sadly, however, I can't show you any pictures of their render yet, so I'll probably show you some Total War footage of that unit instead. This very recognizable unit, having fought several campaigns and battles from Marengo till, of course, Waterloo as well. As you may have noticed, the focus of the modding team lies heavily with the nations of Britain and France for now, but it is very likely that other nations will be added to this list. As a side note, I want to mention that they have their own Discord server in place, so should you be interested in helping them out, or you want to talk with other people interested in the Napoleonic Warfare, or you just want to keep yourself informed almost every day, then I highly recommend you checking out their Discord server the link of which can be found in the description down below. It is a very nice atmosphere over there and you'll be able to see the improvements upon their work and the inspiration that the developers are drawing from other projects and mods and references. I also want to add that the Sword and Musket modding team has grown quite significantly since my last video and as such they have been able to focus on many items. When it comes to weapons and in particular muskets, they have shown these following pictures on their Discord, this one being the Brown Bess Flintlock Musket. I've been told yesterday that the Brown Bess model with the bayonet is finished and you can actually see that weapon being used in the trailer, so that's pretty cool. And as already mentioned, animations and such is all still a work in progress. A field cannon has also been designed the past month and I'll show you guys some screenshots of that again. Many thanks to the project manager for sending these particular screens to me, they look amazing. The team has also completed some decoration props like the explosive barrel, a stone fountain and luxury desk. Other decorations like bottles, flag items and such, they're all still a work in progress, so I can't really show anything as of yet. We know this mod focuses both on multiplayer and single player. But I don't want to talk too much about the single player as of yet when it comes to these update videos, as it is still very early. I've seen comments from the team members in their Discord that they might be going for more of a story aspect with scene transitions rather than an open sandbox, but as I said, it is still too early for me to tell what decisions they're going to make when it comes to that aspect of the project. I'll be keeping you guys updated regardless of both aspects, both single player and multiplayer. Let me know in the comments what you like to see in particular or if there's something you like or dislike and as always I'll be checking the comments and I'll try to respond where possible. Keep in mind I'm not a member of the modding team, I don't have all the answers, but it is my hobby to try and get those for you. 
That was a mouthful, but yeah, that was it for this update on Sword and Musket. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative enough. In case you have, please do consider subscribing to stay updated and in order to receive regular Napoleonic Wars content. After all, it's just a button away. It's free and you can always unsubscribe if you decide you don't like my videos. That having said, I hope to see you in the next one. Take care everyone.